Hello there, this is Irv Shapiro, a.k.a. Dr. Vax, and I'm here today to share with you why I've made the move from imperial measurements, feet, inches, fractions, to metric measurements, basically millimeters, centimeters, and meters. When designing items for 3D printing, Basically, the starting point is you measure some existing item. This happens to be a D-Link Ethernet switch. That's where you can plug multiple Ethernet connections into your router. You plug this into your router, then you plug multiple connections into the switch. Well, this is designed to sit on a table, and I'd really like to mount it on the wall. So, I have a 3D printer. I should just design a bracket to hold it on the wall. Well, the first thing you do when you're designing a new bracket is you measure something. And I go ahead and I measure this and it's a little more than three and a half inches. What is that? I have to remember, is this ruler in 30 seconds or 16 So this would be three and 17 30 seconds of an inch. Now, for me, I don't know about you, that's a pretty hard number to remember. Um, and then in the other direction, I have three and a little more, I'm sorry, two and a little more than three quarters in this particular case. Oh, I actually made a mistake because on this ruler, it has 30 seconds in the beginning, but then it switches to sixteenths. So this width is actually three and nine sixteenths and in the other dimension it's two and let's call it nine sixteenths. Now fractions for me are hard to remember and in general all of the software you're going to use for 3D printing is calibrated in metric measurements. 3D printers are generally in metric measurements. So I decided to give it a try and see if it was easier or harder for me to use millimeters instead of fractions of an inch. Now to cut right to the conclusion, what I found is millimeters are much easier to use for items the sizes that I'm dealing with in 3D printing. I'm not sure I'd want to build a room with two by fours that are eight feet long, measured in millimeters and centimeters. That would really throw me off. But for doing small items, for doing 3D printing, millimeters work great. Now I'm going to put this picture up on the screen and we'll talk about it together. So what you'll see is that a millimeter is a little bit bigger than a 32nd and a bit smaller than a 16th. That's just the right, about the right precision for the things that I'm doing with 3D printing. And the reason is most F FDM printers, the types of 3D printers that we're generally using at home, have a tolerance, a dimensional tolerance, that means an accuracy of plus or minus about half a millimeter. Well, if it's plus or minus, it means it could be one side or the other. So overall, your accuracy is about a millimeter. So if we measure everything to about a millimeter, we're in the same ballpark. Now, in fact, industrial FDM printers are a little bit tighter tolerance. That's about 0.2 millimeters. But for the things we're doing on ho at home, on the printers like the printers I have behind me, a millimeter ends up being a good measurement. The other thing is, if you just look at the two rulers up on the screen, you'll see it's just easier to use a millimeter scale than it is a scale with fractions and constantly having to determine whether your ruler is marked in eighths or sixteenths or thirty seconds. And finally, a tool that you're going to find yourself using over and over again once you start designing for 3D printing is a caliper. Every caliper generally comes in millimeters. Many of them have inches, but the inches are in decimal. So it would be like 1.398 inches, 
Well, what is that? That's a bit, little bigger than a quarter. It's a little bigger than a half. How do I convert that to a fraction? You can buy calipers that are measured that include fractions, but I found because of the tolerances of getting the measurement just right, they always tell me things in 128. And 128 is not something that you're typically using. So overall, my conclusion was that it's much easier to use millimeters, and I'd really encourage everyone to give that a try if you're tr still trying to stick to inches. Thanks for watching this brief Dr. Vax segment. If you enjoyed this segment, please subscribe, please like this, and we'll see you again so that we can learn something new together.